invest a year and spend thirty thousand dollars and do all the papers and everything else i think the education is uh... is something that's uh, very defensible but what you do with it is a question that kind of haunts me and so i started thinking a number of months ago i need to answer that question how in the world do i do I create something that I could give to folks and say, here at least is the thinking that might lead to those answers? And so I begin working on that. And there are several things that come into the collage then of how these ideas came about. And, and let me just share with you several of them so you'll, you'll have that sense. Uh, the first thing I did when uh, the guilt was overwhelming uh, was to decide I ought to go see what the world says about marketing. Uh, marketing really is the question, even in the dispute resolution field. It's not like there isn't great need. Uh, the question is, where's the demand? And how does one connect the demand with the need in such a way that uh, we can do this, certainly as volunteers, because that's very, very important, uh, but also do it in a way that it becomes part of our professional practice. Uh, so I reflected on a couple of experiences I had, and I did a little bit of work and begin to formulate some ideas that I thought were worth sharing. I actually went all the way to Dallas, Texas to do the first course, just so you wouldn't be embarrassed by me, uh, in California. <laughs> and uh, we did the very first course for the Dallas Bar Association to throw out these ideas and see how people would react to them. But they come from several places. They first come from uh, my deciding to read uh, about 100 business books focusing on marketing. Now, you all could do that, uh, but about 80 of those books were just absolutely boring. Uh, and so I've saved you a tremendous number of hours. Uh, and only about five or six of those books really related to how one might market a service as opposed to how one might market a product. You can't publish a book that's less than a couple hundred pages, and so they'll slice it, dice it, trim it, and everything else. But the reality is marketing is getting known. What's selling? Selling is getting chosen. Okay, now think about that. Marketing is getting known. How do I get known? Selling is getting chosen. How do I get chosen? Now, now, when those two questions get answered, I'm in business. i got something to do. If people know about me and I wanted to choose me, we'll work the rest of the details out, I am sure. But i got to somehow get known, and I have to somehow, through that, get chosen how do I do that? Now, I'm going to suggest some ideas that push you in a couple of different directions here. Uh, I spent five years with what is the largest dispute resolution organization in California. And as I spent those five years uh, as a vice president of that organization, watching it grow from about $18 million a year to about $50 million a year in revenue, uh, there was a lot of learning that went on, some of it painful, uh, some of it very, very instructive, as in that organization we sought to take the professional practice of mediation and push it into an environment and a format uh, that needed to be highly successful uh, economically. And so there was a tremendous amount of learning there, and I tried to think back in those experiences. You know, what did we do there? What did we do right? What did we do wrong? Uh, we invested millions of dollars doing some very, very right things, and we probably invested millions of dollars doing some things that while weren't inherently wrong, didn't do much to help. And so I had that experience that I thought would be a, a little bit helpful. Uh, then I uh, began to reflect a little bit on my own uh, uh, mediation practice, which is not a huge practice, but over the course of 15, 16, 17 years, uh, kind of a continual stream of cases. And I began to think about, how do those come about? Why does somebody call me? Uh, what led them, with all the possibilities in this field that are fairly well known, uh, to call a particular individual and say, we think you might be helpful on this particular case. And so I started going back and, and looking at the calls and the people and trying to learn a little bit uh, and track from that. And so I thought that was perhaps a, another dimension of this that might be helpful. So, so I, I've had a series of experiences that really now have resulted in some ideas that I hope we, in a very interactive way today, talk about and that we share and that we wrestle with and my goal at the end of the day is for you to leave uh, with a lot of work done on your own practice. And so we're going to have some real differences as the day goes on. Uh, somebody might be thinking about their practice in the medical field. Someone else might be thinking about it in the family field. Someone else might be thinking about it in the commercial world. 
And so we'll have a lot of variety in where we're thinking today, and thus the answers to lots of questions will be very, very different for each of us. But my sense is the questions, uh, and we're going to wrestle with about eight of them today, are the kinds of questions that will lead us uh, toward a more successful uh, and, and a practice uh, and professional work.